Hello everyone, welcome back. Hope everyone is doing great. Today is a good day and any day, any day that you woke up and see the sunlight, it is a blessing. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what you're facing. It is a blessing to be alive. And if you can just look over your life and see and look around you and see the amount of things that is happening. So many persons are in the hospital. So many persons, so many lives have been taken and you are still here. It is a blessing to be alive. And I just wanna say to all my subscribers, I just wanna I just wanna tell you how much I appreciate your support, your love. And for all those that are new to my channel, my name is Marian and I am your encourager and also your intercessor. I just want to say to you all and, and thanks to all the, the returnees I really do appreciate your support it could not be better without you without you we make a team and you know we are family and friends and so I pray for you and you pray for me we are in the end the end time where we can recognize that there are so many dark fiery darts are throwing especially um at christians but one thing i want to reassure you is that god will never leave you or forsake you he will never leave you comfortless and even when you feel as if he's not there I want to assure you that he has never leave you. He is a God of his word. Glory to God. And as we read in the word, glory to God. In Psalms, the Lord is our shepherd. Hallelujah. And when he said he's our shepherd, he is our protector. He is our coverage. He is our guidance. He is our all in all. He is our everything. He will never leave us or forsake us and so I want to I want to encourage somebody today that in spite of what you're going through never give up do not take glory to God anything from the enemy because the enemy comes to kill to steal and to destroy and the enemy one thing glory to God I was just meditating glory to God and you know the, 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 the Spirit of the Lord came to me glory to God that the enemy comes to destroy defeat your purpose well, let me tell you something glory to god as one of my youtuber glory to god text me and said you know guard your heart hallelujah in this last days that we're in we we got to guard our heart because the enemy is gonna come more you know he's gonna come in such a forceful way that if you don't guard your heart he will deceive you but today i encourage somebody glory to god that the purpose that god has you here for the enemy cannot defeat him if you don't allow him glory to god because one thing i know that when you guard your heart when you set your eyes upon god and when you rooted and grounded in god there is no force no power of hell will be able to destroy the purpose glory to god that god has set before you because we all came here to fulfill hallelujah glory to god our purpose hallelujah and my purpose is not your purpose glory to god but we all have one purpose that all of us must be fulfilled glory to god and that's where we'll live according to the word of god and glory to god and allow somebody to know that jesus loved them in spite of what you're going through glory to god that battle may be hot and sometimes glory to god it may feel as if you want to in the towel sometimes it may feel like your back are against the wall but let me tell you today glory to god that god is with you always even unto the end glory to god he said in his word glory to god he said let not your heart be troubled he believed in god believe also in him he said in his father's house are many mansions and if it were not so he would have told you 
he said I have gone to prepare a place and if I go I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am there you will be also and so therefore the enemy is coming hallelujah glory to God from heaven and don't believe that glory to God he can ever enter back into heaven and so he doesn't want anyone he doesn't want any one of us to enter and so therefore he will try to let our life be tormented glory to God to be miserable but uh, hallelujah he will try to oppress and to depress but I want to tell somebody today glory to God that get up hallelujah glory to God get up arise hallelujah from the ashes put on your beautiful garment remember who you are and who you are remember glory to God and if you are praying hallelujah glory to God hallelujah and you believe with your heart glory to God God is going to defend you it doesn't matter what the enemy wants to come with I want to tell you today glory to God hallelujah that the enemy is going to come hallelujah like a flood but remember God's word said that he will lift up a standard against him the Lord will not leave you comfortless and so whatever your situation is today whatever you're going through let not your heart be troubled glory to God it may be a financial issue let not your heart be troubled set your affection and things above set your heart upon God look to God who is the arm and the finisher of your faith because his word clear glory to God that a thousand cut up on a hill belongs to him and so if you are going through that financial difficulty remember glory to God don't set your heart upon it because God is a provider and he said he will supply all our needs according to his riches in glory hallelujah it's nothing good he will withhold for those who walk upright Believe God's word. Glory to God. If you're going through a children situation where your children, because let me tell you something, this time that we are in, glory to God, it's a different, different type of children. Glory to God. It wasn't so, hallelujah, in the time when we were growing up. But these children are different. Glory to God. But it has us as parents, glory to God. We got to, hallelujah. As the word of God said, train the child in the way that they should go. That when they are old, they will not depart from it. And I can guarantee you, I, can, I, am, a, I am sure, 100%, that some of us as parents, we train the children in the way. But guess what? They turn, they depart from it. And the enemy use them as a target to target us so he can get at us. But just remember that when these children are behaved, they become rebellious. They come be, become disobedient. They become ungrateful. They, they become all the friends of the way. And if you don't mind, glory to God, some children kill their parents. Glory to God, you can't speak to them like before because they want to fight back. They want to fight back. But let me tell you something. Just remember, parents, if you're going through children's situation, just remember who God is and what God said. Hallelujah. What his word said. Do not allow the children to get to you. Because if the devil sees that he cannot reach to you, he's going to use something, someone to reach to you. And if it is the children, he's going to use the children to get at you. So God, your heart. Glory to God, so you need your things that comes out of your mouth. Glory to God, it will edify. Glory to God, them and glorify God, and you will not sin against God. Because let me tell you, if the devil see that this is working, glory to God for him, that where he uses the children to get at you, he's going to continue, hallelujah, to, to possess. Because these children are not operating on their own. They are monitored by spirit. Glory to God and it is to get to you hallelujah it's not so much of the children but it is to get to you and you got to realize that that this is the last days that we're in that the devil is going to use anything or anyone to get at you 
So whether you're having a children issue, let me tell you something. God is greater than that. God is greater, hallelujah, than the children's situation that you're having. All you need to do is to trust God. I know what some of your parents are going, going through. Glory to God. And some of the things that you face that your children are doing, glory to God. But guess what? God is able to do exceedingly abundantly and above all that you can ever ask or imagine. It is not a good thing, glory to God, that is happening. So many children, glory to God, hallelujah, get up their parents in such a way, glory to God, that the only thing left for the parents, glory to God, is to lose their mind. But I want to encourage somebody today, glory to God, do not set your mind upon the situation, because guess what, the more you set your mind upon it, it is the more that it's way you don't, it is the more you feel pressured, it is the more you feel stressed out, it is the more you feel burned. And, so, and this is what the enemy wants to, to oppress and to depress you. Glory to God. So you've got to wake up and recognize that. Guess what? This is what the enemy is using to get me up. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You don't have to argue with your children. You don't have to fuss and fight. Glory to God. Because you see God. Hallelujah. You see God. He's still on the throne. Hallelujah. And he knows just what to do. All you got to do is to give them back to God because he loaned them to us and when they are being rebellious and disobedient and when they are doing some things that out of your control and you have nothing because some of them are grown man and woman glory to God and there is nothing that you can do all you got to do is the Lord you loan this child to me and I am giving him back to you I am giving her back to you glory to God and watch God in every time that child you don't have to fight or argue with that child because you're gonna lose it you're gonna lose glory to God you're gonna lose your mind glory to God you're gonna lose it and you're gonna stress out you don't want that if you're going through glory to God a marital situation which I know that there's a lot of person and even though some persons try to behave as if I heard the speaker said yesterday sometimes some people behave as if they're not going through anything but you see God knows the art Glory to God and some persons are going through a serious marital issue. You cannot stand because it's not everybody can stand the pressure. And as I, I spoke to you about the, the tree, the fruit tree that the Lord has gave, given me and the, the rest of the people that were supposed to cross over the river along with me. Glory to God. The Lord God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You've got to be rooted and grounded in God. Glory to God because some of these men, some of these these husbands, some of these wives, glory to God, come to stress. Glory to God, they come. Hallelujah, glory to God, they come. Hallelujah, to depress. Hallelujah, glory to God. And because if God is not it, in it, because one thing I know is that if a man and a woman love each other, it doesn't matter what the enemy comes with, you're going to fight. Hallelujah, through the I've, I've listened to so many testimony where husband and wife have been through, and my mother and, and my father is a perfect example. They have been through the good time and through the bad time. They have been through the ups and the down. Glory to God, but they stick together. Glory to God, one of the time. Hallelujah, when I look at my parents, hallelujah, and, and it's when I was older, look at the, their situation, and I'm saying, God, I have never seen my parents like like this because growing up glory to God and two people growing up glory to God love each other that situation will come knock at their door glory to God they will fear situation but one thing I know is that they have never exchanged room or separate themselves from each other they always stick together and glory to God I've listened to I've seen marriage glory to God hallelujah we are Christian wife 
have to be running away from their home. I have seen glory to God. Hallelujah. Where men have been stressed out, husband. Glory to God. And it's this is all because of the enemy. The enemy, glory to God, it doesn't love anything that called marriage. And once God put two individual a man and a woman together glory to god the enemy knows glory to god the the, the effect that two powerful people that love each other and especially if they are serving God what it can bring and so the enemy is going to plot up glory to God and he's going to sow this card he's going to try to find a channel He's going to try to find a loophole and whether the men are the, whether the men are the woman, whether the wife or the husband is going to try some way to get in, whether he's going to use glory to God, a woman, glory to God or a man to come in whatever way, whether he's going to use and uh, once you open up that channel to the enemy, glory to God, it's just like glory to God, you, you, you can't have a happy marriage. You cannot, and so therefore I encourage each and everyone today, if you are having this marital issue, take it to the Lord in prayer. He is the best solution. He is a problem solver. He is a burden bearer. Glory to God whenever, glory to God, you started to take, glory to God, your marriage, your marriage, or your, 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 your personal issue, glory to God, round on a boat. Glory to God, you open a channel for the enemy. You open, and especially when you're going to people that cannot help you. Glory to God, because when people go to the wrong people, they are going to let it because the devil has, has his advocate. And those wrong people that sometimes you probably go to and think that there's a solution. They only make this, the, the situation get worse. Glory to God because they are the advocate of the enemy and the enemy have already set them up to, to, to destroy, to, to let the, 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 the situation get even worse. But there are people, glory to God, that is out there that you can go to and they will pray you through. Glory to God, they will not add another stone. They will not add another damage to what has already happening. Glory to God, but rather they will pray pray you through they will carry you through they will carry your burden hallelujah glory to god because the word of god declares that we are our one another's keeper and so if it is a marital issue remember you cannot take your situation to everybody because glory to god for french sake even if you are doing the wrong thing it's not a good friend and a true friend will tell you hey listen what you're doing it is not right you need to get it right you need to fix it glory to god a, 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 a friend enemy the, the the advocate of the enemy will bribe and push you further glory to god and especially the enemy want to see that marriage wreck so you got to be careful of the people that you're you're inviting into your marriage. You have to be careful of who get into your 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 circle because it's not everybody that comes in your circle that means you're good. Glory to God, a friend. Glory to glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's closer than a brother. And sometimes, glory to God, your true friend. Glory to God will pray you true, will help you true. Glory to God. Because let me tell you something. Sometimes people just want something. You just want you to come to them with something so that they can always have something about you. And especially if the enemy is using them as an advocate. Glory to God, they are going to always come. They are going to always come with something so that you can always pour out into them. Because let me tell you something, it is not what goes down defile you, it is what comes out defile you. And the enemy don't know what is on the inside. Glory to God, he cannot know what is on the inside. He will tempt you, but he cannot force you. And some things he will put to your mind, but let me tell you something. Guard your heart. Guard your heart. 
So when you're going through that marital situation, you can able to stand for God. Hallelujah. And stand and out of it all. I've seen where many people, glory to God, have backslide because of the marital situation. Some people, glory to God, some people backslide. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Some people commit suicide. Some people mad because they cannot take. But to God be the glory for those that stand militant and really resolute. Glory to God. I've heard somebody was telling me about this married couple. The wife said that she never knew. She wasn't praying for that husband. And the husband that she got, she never knew that she would have gotten. And she have been through some things that she, she, she was praying and she was saying, God, this is not what I asked for. This is not what I asked for. But let me tell you something. Glory to God through the thick and through the thin. And as the word of God declared, glory to God. The word of God said it is better for a man to not to vow than to vow and break his vow. It, the, 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 the vow that said, glory to God, for better for worse in sickness and in health. Glory to God into death do a spot glory to god and that is a vow that a wife and a husband has made to god and i am saying to each and every one that is going through a marital issue take your burden to the lord in prayer if you cannot find a spiritual person that can help glory to god to pray you through it doesn't make any sense you go to every and anybody because they are going to make it worse and they are just only collecting because guess what once the enemy knows that things is working according to how we planned in the marriage he's going to continue to send that person and you continue to pour out and the more you're pouring out is the more the devil is working because he realized that yes it is working it is working on the wife or it is working on the husband but i want to tell somebody today to stand your ground hallelujah even if you're going through a marital situation stand your ground stand your ground hallelujah guard your heart glory to god let me tell you something not everybody love to see a happy marriage glory to god it's not everybody and there are spirit of jealousy there is spirit of jealousy out there and i'm not talking for marriage that did not put together by god I'm talking about marriage that God has ordained. There are spirit of jealousy and sometimes, glory to God, some women or some men will just look at the life that some married people are living and just be jealous of it and try in every way. And it's the devil will try every way to get somebody in the midst of that marriage. But I wanna tell somebody, glory to God, if you are out there today, and you are married ensure that you are praying ensure that you are praying glory to god you are praying and let me tell you something for those that married and it did not work out do not kill yourself glory to god start again it's not a bad thing glory to god to start over again because we all do make mistakes in life glory to god don't kill yourself because the man did not stay or because the woman did not stay move on glory to god because sometimes it is not all together bad because the word of god declare that all things work together for good to those that love the lord some man some husband cannot go where god is taking you some wife cannot go where god is taking you glory to god you're not your final destiny and sometimes we do make decision in life glory to god where it is not of god glory to god so it will never work glory to god so i want to encourage somebody today i want to encourage you today if you're having this marital situation take it to god in prayer or find a spiritual person not a everybody not to say that's my friend so i'm gonna share it with my friend you never know people are people and people do change glory to god because the friend that you see today glory to god tomorrow you never know that that friend would have changed or turned is our her back on you you never know people do change the bible say you dare not trust 
not even your own. So the, the man or the woman that you call that is your best friend, that person can change in the twinkling of an eye. The only person that never changes God will never change and will stand by you forever. And that's why we are to go to him with everything because he's a secret keeper. Glory to God and if you tell him anything, he's not going to walk around and tell everybody. God knows everything about us, but nobody believes to say God is going to walk around and scandalize you. Nobody believes to say God is going to walk around and tell he, she, and the only anything that you take to God, it is confidential. So if you're going through that marital situation, trust God through it. God, your heart. Glory to God. And if you're going through the church hurt, the church hurt, it is so prevalent among us people are in the church that are dying people are in the church that are rejected people are people are in the church that feel like a nobody glory to god have been looked over and glory to god sit there glory to god like a shadow but i want to tell somebody today somebody may to have reject you or condemn you or write you are but god have the final say and just remember that it is not over until god said it's over do you know the amount of person that is sitting in the church today and overlook have been overlooked glory to god by other persons that are in a sister and brother that are in the church but one thing i've always tell myself glory to god look mankind can always do whatever they want to do they can always write you off they can always condemn you they can always reject you but guess what the final saying belongs to god the fine he's going to do the final judgment because this is thing god don't look at how much we can speak god don't look at the education that we have god does not look at glory to god our our background glory to god god does not look glory to god hallelujah at our doctorate hallelujah and our degree hallelujah and our di diploma god does not look at that god look at the art and this is what he's coming back to judge us according as our heart glory to god because a lot of us we know the word spend how many years in bible school but if you know the word and you're not doing them it make it make no sense glory to god did the word of god say hallelujah you're like like sounding brass and tingling cymbal because it doesn't make any sense and nowadays i look and i and i see people glory to god that that once you're once you're not in a certain category you are overlooked and some people glory to god they write you off because hallelujah they know your background or some people hear some things about you and they write you off and they reject you but guess what they are not doing you any good hallelujah they are not doing you any bad they are doing their own self because they are working their way to hell so when i tell you today if you are there and you are feeling rejected and you feel like glory to god don't even stop don't even stop to go no stop glory to god remember who you are and who you are so today I pray and trust, glory to God, that everyone out there, that you will remember, glory to God, that it is not over until God said it's over. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. You take care of yourself and remember to subscribe to my channel, glory to God. Subscribe and remember to click on the, on the, the notification bell so you can always be notified. Remember to share and to like the video, glory to God. And so... Until we meet again, you take care of yourself. I love you all. Be blessed. God bless you.